guys it's me how you doing uh happy new year like i'm so excited for 2017 i am going to be doing so many different things i have so many ideas and one of my main uh new year re resolutions is to step outside of my comfort zone and become more adventurous um i'm very like closed off sometimes so this is outside of my comfort zone showing you guys how I do stuff. Um, but if you're a part of the Snapchat fam, then you saw the look that I did the other day. There is an Instagram video. I do not know the handle. The person, she uses gray eyeliner for her look. And we're going to do something sort of like that. But... We use concealer for liner. So it's sort of like a cut crease, but it's not <laughs> in a way. But I guess you could, you could turn it into a cut crease, of course. But I was just like playing around in makeup and you know, when you like want to do something different, you just go for it. So I've never done this and I got lots of feedback for it and you guys want to know how I did it. So we're going to jump right into it. <laughs> so I... I've never done a tutorial before and I don't know if you guys can tell or not I am using my laptop camera that I have and you know it's kind of sucky I can't really get zoom in but I will try to clip in photos of how it look how it will look um, so you guys can see like what I'm going for but I'll still tell you what I'm doing during the process I will be using the Tartis Pro palette. This is actually my very first palette that I've ever gotten. I have never used an eyeshadow palette before, but my mom was like, you're getting into makeup and you're really good at it, so let me supply you. <laughs> and I was like, what? Seriously? So yeah, it's an awesome palette. The colors are amazing. And even if you don't know like how to use makeup or like what to do, you can like follow the rows and you know that'll give you a perfect look for whatever your event is going to even if you're just going to work or whatever it's a really awesome palette i absolutely love it and it smells like it actually smells like chocolate i've never owned like a name brand makeup product so having this i was like i wonder if all the uh, makeup gurus is, is if the hype is real because you know when you watch videos and you're like does it really smell like chocolate or is it just like artificial smelling chocolate but I was like yo I could I could eat this and like it it's it's real like the hype is real um so yeah if you could ever catch this on sale or if you are fortunate enough to actually buy it I highly recommend it we're gonna go into my face I use the Maybelline Fit Me in 3300 Toffee Caramel. Um, it's matte, the matte poreless. There is any girl or guy out there who feels me. I use but Black Radiance um, Perfecting Eyeshadow Primer for my face. I do not have. Okay, look, guys. I don't. I don't have an actual primer for my face. Okay, I did not buy one. I mean, I, I have one, but I don't really like it. Um, I need to find a new one. If you guys know any, like, good primers for dry, oily skin that you never tried out, but you want to know what it, how it works or whatever, um, put it in the comments, and I will most definitely go out and get it, because I have no idea which one I should get. I do have people who give me recommendations, but not everything works for everyone. So, if you guys have some questions about a product and you're like, hey, can you try this out? Because I'm, I'm too scared to try it out. I will do it. That is what this is for. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> it's not what you're supposed, supposed to do. But, you know, I do it anyway because why not? And there's no one who's going to be, like, looking at my face like, you used eyeshadow primer for your face, didn't you? Like, boy. So, we're going to put the hair back. Um, how have you guys been, like, so like I said, you're not really supposed to use eyeshadow primer <laughs> for your face, but I mean, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to get the job done, okay, cause I 
just I just haven't gotten around to buying an actual face primer. Okay. Um, one thing that I will say about doing this, if you are gonna follow my steps <laughs> with this, um, if you're gonna use an eyeshadow primer for your face, make sure that you're like really um putting it in the skin and like rubbing it in because if you don't your um the makeup the foundation and concealer all of it will end up looking patchy in any place that it is not blended or like put into the skin i am using a sponge for my foundation when it comes to sponges i am a little like taken aback i guess okay this is the story so i went off to school and um I, I go to school away from home so i did i forgot to bring my pack of sponges that i have which is where this one came from they're just triangle sponges and i'm going in dabbing motions and tapping my foundation uh, i've grown i've grown very fond of my brushes for makeup application because I was like you know this is, this is all I got so I gotta use it and now I'm like okay I'm using a sponge when I'm home <laughs> it's just it's just kind of weird you know going from like one type of like application to another I kind of just rub the whatever is left on the sponge onto my eyes I'm gonna use the um, master conceal in medium deep with this concealer, um, if you're not, if you never used it before, a little bit goes a long way. It's it's definitely full coverage. So we're gonna jump into the eyes. The brushes that I'm using are from BH Cosmetics, and they were in a set. I'll link it down below. I do the number five brush. It's just a simple, a simple fluffy brush, you know, for your crease. And we're gonna, we're gonna go in with Whimsy, which is this color right here in our crease um, and just buff that in and blend it all in. I kind of go in a straight line out from my uh, outer rim of my eye to kind of get that widened round Look, sort of if that makes any sense so now we're gonna go into edgy which is a um, medium brown tone in the palette in the last row and we're not gonna um, buff this all the way in it's just gonna be in the outer corner to add some depth to the eye Yeah, you don't want to pick up too much because it can be kind of overpowering. But in the event that you do, because I, you know, I make mistakes too. Um, I would say to mix both Whimsy and Edgy on your brush and then buff it into your, um, not buff it, uh, blend it into your eye. And until it looks like, you know, a balance between the two just blend 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 so until you're happy with it honestly until you are happy with the result but just a simple flat brush nothing too um amazing about it and we're gonna go in with ethereal a really bronzy highlighter right here it's really amazing I think my ethereal would have to be my favorite uh, shimmer tone in the palette. I don't know, it just, um, it just, it's super, all of the glitters are like really super pigmented and creamy and easy to like manipulate and use however you want. And the way ethereal looks on my skin is just like, yes, like, gives me life. Like, it's my inner soul coming to life. Like just it's it's here and this is it <laughs> we're gonna put ethereal in the remainder of our lid it's 
bomb. It's the best. It's great. Yeah. Do the fun parts. So we're just gonna. You're just gonna want to squeeze like a like a dot. You probably won't need any more, and if you do, you can you can always add more, but you cannot. You can all wait. What is I? What's the saying? It's like you can add more, but you can't take away. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little dot on the back of my hand, and I'm using an angled brush. Not too much, just like. And if you want to, what I do is I um I kind of drag it out into a line until I feel like I have enough on the brush to where it's like not too much and it's like seeping out on the edges. You want to try to keep the concealer on the edge of the brush. It'll make the application a lot easier. So we're gonna start with putting it um on make a line on your eye. And then we're gonna do the triangle at the edge. So um, you can do this part as exaggerated or um, simple as you want. And I'm just gonna, you pretty much just do this like you would do your regular liquid liner. Just remember that it's concealer and it's gonna take away a little bit of product with it. So you wanna be a little bit like extra careful with it. Um, I really like the whole like new looking of it so I would add like more concealer to make it look like my skin is the liner so we're gonna draw a line from your bottom lash line in, in that same angle um, again you can exaggerate as much as you want or um, as little as you want I'm just gonna do it like I would do my regular liner so you want to be a little precise and you're just going to make that triangle. You're going to connect in the, um, the top line to that angle line and like I said you can just take little tiny dots and then connect it and then you'll just fill it in here. Just like that. And with a little bit of whimsy. And a little bit of edgy you want to smoke it out beneath that concealer line that you did at the edge okay all right so this is the look close up um, you can see the concealer liner that you got going on there you know um, so yeah that is the entire look i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out i will link all the products down below with the websites so where i got them from and yeah i hope you guys come back for more bye